Today I'm going to present you a short demo of our Agile tool, iScrum. So here we are on the iScrum home page. In the right corner of the screen you can consult your account details or see information concerning uh, your iScrum plan. If you click on the iScrum logo in the left corner you will see all the details about your server. Uh, by clicking on project, the drop down menu gives you the possibility to skip project, to manage your team, or to start a new project. So now we are going to create a new and very simple project. First of all, I give a name to my project. This key is used to generate your project URL, so ESDP. Here you can choose if you want um, your project to be private or not. If you choose no, every iScrum user will be able to consult your project. So um, I choose yes because I don't want to share this project. I choose the Paris time zone. And finally, you can make a little description of your project if you want. Now I have to choose the team I want to work with on the project. Here I choose the team uh, composed by ice cream members that I created earlier. If I want to be the scrum master, I just have to check my name. As Scrum Master, I can update the project settings and practices whenever I want. On uh, iScrum, you can be Scrum Master and Product Owner at the same time. So I want to be the Scrum Master and the Product Owner, so I just, want, just have to find my name in the search bar. You have the possibility to select stakeholders only if your project is private. I don't want to, um, to find stakeholders. On this screen, you can define uh, your practices. So um, these practices influence your sprints, plannings, and tax tasks. But for the moment, uh, we can uh, keep them like that. The default settings are correct to start a first project. This is the last step uh, before starting your new project. So here you can define uh, the project starting date, the spring starting date, and its duration. The release uh, automatically uh, ends uh, three months after the project start date. You can change all of these settings uh, whenever you want. Uh, once the settings are done, all the conditions are, are met to start a new project. That you created your project. The first page you see is the dashboard view. You can see no chart for the moment. That's normal uh, as you are starting your project. So we will see some later. On the toolbar here, uh, all the tabs are, of the different view are now available. You can move them to change your project first page. I, if I choose to place feature in first, like it. It will be the first page I see when uh, entering my project the next time. So now we are going to see how to suggest story and feature. Uh, so um, let's start with the feature. On this view, you can create feature in order to classify stories and tasks of your project. So um, I create the first feature that I will call story management. You can make, make a little description of your um, feature. You can attribute a value. You can choose a type or a release. And you can tag it to find it uh, easily when you use the search bar here. Um, more important, um, you can associate the feature with a color. 
it's a good way to identify quickly which story is associated to which feature. So I choose the green color. You can add attachments uh, to your feature uh, from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive or SkyDrive. So I will show you. So now um, I have an attachment to my feature. It's here. To make another feature, you just have to click on Add and Continue. So this is my second feature. So if you want to go back to the feature view, you just have to click on Add. So my two first features are now created and uh, I can start to create story. So to do that, we have to go first on the sandbox view. So now we are on the sandbox view. It's a collecting point for all project members to suggest feature and story. So by clicking on new in the sandbox toolbar, um, you can create a new story. So let's go. So I will call it uh, show the product backlog. Here I have the possibility to choose the type of the story between user, defect and technical story. I can associate the story to a feature like this. But uh, I can also drag a feature from the widget box directly on the story to associate them. I will show you uh, both ways to do it. So as for the rest, you can make a description of our story here. You can add a tag or add attachments. And by clicking on suggest and continue, I can continue the creation of my story. So I create a second story show sprint plan and the last so now uh, on the widget bar I just have to put the feature of the store on the story to link them. So story management I want to link with show sprint plan and this feature with show task board. Now I can suggest my story. The product owner can accept them or not. If the story is profused like that, the story will be deleted. However, with the Ice Cream Pro version, you have the possibility to freeze the story. It will go to the ice box. So I will show you what is the ice box. So this pro feature offers you the possibility to clean your sandbox um, and to go back to all three story later. So uh, I want to keep my story so I restore it. Uh, now I found it on the sandbox. I can accept my free story. And now the story are now accept and have been moved to the product backlog. So here we are on the product backlog. All team member can estimate the story. So the product owner and the scrum master can change the priority by changing the order of the story. The story in the left corner is the next to be done and so on. So I want to show the sprint plant before throwing the task board. So I put my task just here. So you have to estimate story first if you want to put it in a sprint. So uh, I estimate them just by clicking on the question mark here. So story moved from accepted to estimated. Now we are going to see 
how the release plan works. The release plan is composed of these sprints and used to dispatch the estimated story. To organize my sprints, I drag my two story from the widget toolbar to my first sprint. So I, I put my live story on the second sprint because I want to work on it later. I can now activate the sprint and open it. So here I can activate and I can open it to go to the sprint plan. This is the sprint plan view. It's composed of different kinds of tasks. So here the usual tasks are not associated to any story. The, the recurrent tasks are to do every sprint. And here, this is the two story attached to the sprint earlier. Now I will show you how to create new tasks. So I will call my first task backlog demonstration. <coughs> I associate my task with the corresponding feature, so I choose show product backlog. You have the possibility to attribute a remaining time. Or as a story and feature creation, you have the possibility to make a description, to tag it, to choose a color, or to add file to your task. So I click on add and continue to make another task. So I will call sprint plan feature demonstration. I associate this task with show sprint plan. I can press enter and return to the sprint plan on view. Now I want to manage my tasks. If I drag my task in progress column, I take the task and will be in charge of it. You can see my name appearing below the task name. I have already finished my task show the product backlog so I can put it on the done column. I can declare now my story as done. However, I always want to show more sprint plan functionality so I can shift my feature to the next sprint. I can now close my sprint 1 and start the sprint 2. The first sprint is now closed. We can move to the next sprint just by refreshing the page. The unfinished story is still available on the sprint too. So um, I move my task to in progress because I had to show you um, another feature. I create a new task. I call it technical task. I associate with show task board. I want to back to the sprint plan. So I would like to work on this task, but like sometimes team members have problems to perform their assignments. So that's why on iScrum you can report a problem to the project team by clicking on block. Next, I'm going to show you a feature of the Pro version, the taskboard.